Hi, this is Andrea. A couple of people have asked me how I do that flipping feature with my overlay and let me just show you. It's really, really easy. I'm in version 2. So let's preview this. This is what we're going to recreate. Very simple. It's those half overlays where half the image is uh, transparent and the other half has texture on it. So what's underneath on the transparent side shows through a video, an image, whatever you want. So let's go ahead and recreate this. So I'm going to uh, create a new sketch scene and then I'm just going to add a bitmap image. And let's go ahead and grab this one right here. Make sure it says don't sketch. Click add. I'm going to scale full screen proportional one favorite new feature and then I'm going to add a, um, a animation which down here you can't really see it but it's right here click that and then I'm going to basically take that copy and put it exactly on top of the other one then I'm going to say flip horizontally and I want to do that in half a second so that's 12 frames close canvas and voila that's how you do the flipping feature so much like I used the feature in uh, explain to you the flip horizontally feature in explain to you to flip an image one time you can use the same feature um, to make an image or something spin. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say maybe you want a logo spinning and it could look like that. So let's go ahead and recreate that um, and we're using the sketch scene. So I'm going to add to create a new sketch scene and then I'm going to add a bitmap image and let's go ahead and pick, well, let's just pick another one of those. Don't sketch click on the add button and all you really need to do is add a few animations and then really that's it so let's click add animation and I'm going to bring the uh, copy to that copy of that image right back on top of the original and I'm going to click flip horizontally and I want to keep the frames at one second. That, that seemed to work out best. So I'm going to add another point. Bring that copy back on top of the other ones. Click flip horizontally. And add one more point. Again, bring that to lay right on top of the other one. Click flip horizontally and let's take a look at it I'll close canvas and now do the scene preview one two three flips makes the object appear like it's spinning I hope you find that useful